Hello, so Jamie here again. Here we have uh, a similar setup to, to the one you've seen before. So I'll just go through it again. So we've got coming out of the main supply. Oops, there we go. We've got the uh, voltage supply for the motor, and that's roughly 39 volts. And so coming out of there we go in to the speed control and um, someone's asked me about the, the wiring setup I've got here. It's very complicated, unnecessarily complicated because I wanted to use this particular motor because I thought it would have lots of torque. But anyway, there we go. So we've got the, the power supply coming in to the speed control and then we've got the little adjuster so I can adjust the speed of the motor which is using the power supply from this um, speed control which is being powered by this battery okay so anyway coming out of that speed control we've got the motor and the new addition is or are these pulleys because I wanted to <clears throat> increase the speed of the little neodymium magnet now I've um, I've rewound these coils uh, based on the suggestion by someone who's posted a comment on my on my YouTube one of my YouTube videos so same coils, these are the standard ones, the standard gauge wire which is very very small uh, and I've gone for this gauge wire so let's see if we can get a comparison there we go very very different and it's worked basically I, d I don't have the same heating up of the core and the coils and all that sort of thing so it's working really well. I obviously get less voltage. Uh, I still don't have an am ammeter, so I can't see what power I'm getting out of it, but it's a lot better. And obviously with the mechanical advantage of the pulleys, um, it's at maximum, maximum RPMs of the motor, I'm getting about 473 volts out of the coils. So I'm going to turn on the voltmeter and there's a lot of noise when I uh, turn this on so I'm not going to do too much talking but I also have a, a tachometer and with this little white square I'll be able to show you the the RPMs. So we're looking at a uh, multiplication of about two and a half times the RPMs of the motor. Um, the motor runs at, the, well, it, it works out about 4,000 RPM, something like that, is a, is a nice, smooth, easy speed and so this is running at about 10,000 RPMs so I'm getting at that speed I'm getting roughly 250 volts at 10 kilohertz and um, everything else seems to work fine although the spark gap when I've got it connected uh, that runs Normally, normally uh, with the previous setup, um, I was getting about 200 hertz out of this, obviously because it was being run at the, the same speed as the motor, um, and I was getting multiplication of the frequency of the energy at the spark gap, but now um, it's actually reduced the frequency of the energy so it's coming out here at about 10 kilohertz and at the spark gap although I haven't played around with it I may need to do that 
Um, I'm getting roughly four or well, five, well, between four and seven kilohertz. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, so here we go. Here's the new setup, and we'll get it running. And like I say, it's very, very loud, so I'm not even going to bother talking. But I'll, I'll show you a few readings anyway. Here we go. There we go, so it's pretty noisy, but um, I'm really happy with the results of that. So as you can see, at maximum voltage, uh, maximum RPMs, it's turfing out 473 volts, and that happens to be at, um, well, there we go, 9, that's not right. What's going on here? It was, yeah, there we go, 9,654. So, two and a half times that, and that's what the neodymium mag magnet was doing. Okay, thank you very much. See you later. Bye.